I'm Molly Woodring, one of the educators here at Maine Audubon, and I'm here at the pond at Gilson Farm with a snapping turtle hatchling that hatched from a nest here on site in early September. And when they and their siblings hatched, we, we kept one in our discovery room throughout the winter and early spring, um, always with the intention to return it to its natural habitat here in the pond, but really to offer this great chance for um, visitors and families and folks to observe their growth over the winter, um, get to see a snapping turtle up close, notice those great adaptations that help it survive, um, and to also give this turtle a little bit of a, a head start. So while its siblings were spending the winter in brumation, not eating, um, this little hatchling was feeding on mostly dried mealworms than live mealworms, and more recently some live macroinvertebrates from the pond here to get them ready for um, wild food sources. So one thing that we've tried to do this year is to also track the turtle's growth. We weighed it just about every month um, while we kept them in the discovery room. And now we've marked one of the scutes on the shell with a, a paint pen in the hopes that this will help us keep track of this turtle once it's out in the wild. We don't want to recapture it, but uh, hopefully this paint mark will make it visible so that if we do see it while out at the dock with students or campers or visitors, um, we'll, we'll know what's happening. Look at all these tadpoles. They won't eat it, right? Okay. Good luck, little turtle. The snapping turtles are omnivores. They're eating both plant and animal material in the pond, typically on the bottom of the pond, kind of waiting for the chance to strike. Um, their necks extend really far out of their shell, and they're doing that classic snapping motion um, to capture small aquatic insects as they get larger, things like tadpoles and small fish, but will also be feeding on plant material as well. Um, so this little turtle we just weighed and it was a little bit over 30 grams. They were 12 grams when we first um, collected them after hatching, but they'll grow up to be up to 20 pounds in weight and can live for 30 or 40 years. 